Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Tonight's movie is Mute. <laughs> Hopefully you found that funny. Uh, probably not, but it's about, it's another Netflix original film. A uh, mute bartender goes up against his city's gangster in an effort to find out what happened to his missing partner. I don't know. I'm really running out of stuff to watch. Um, Alexander Skarsgård? I think that's how you say it. You've seen him in a lot of different things. Um, Paul Rudd is also in it. Ant-Man, so that's kind of exciting. Um, but, like, oh, he was in Straw Dogs. Um, Alexander. Um, True Blood. So there's some... Oh, uh, Melancholia. There's some, you know... I've seen him in a lot. Uh, War on Everyone. That Michael Pena. Anyway, um, a lot of different movies. You see him, you look at his face, you know who I mean. Um, I don't know. Very low expectations on this one. I'm sorry. Let me give you the IMDb rating of 5.4. But it's the best I can find. Got to take chances. You never know. I'll get into it. And uh, I'll be back in a bit to let you know what I think. Or give you a better idea of what it's about. All right. See you in a bit. Hey, everybody. Do a quick check in here. One hour, 19 minutes, 31 seconds. It's a long movie. Um, this is mute, by the way. Um, I, I was playing. I wasn't even gonna stop um, because it's one of those movies. Maybe just two takes is good enough. Um, but it's so long. I figured I'd forget all about it. So it's a long movie. It's drawn out. A little boring. Um, the synopsis is like they kind of said. Um, the mute works as a bartender. He has a girlfriend uh, who's a waitress at the same bar. And she ends up getting... She disappears. She disappears. So he is trying to find out where she is. So he's going through... And one cool thing I do like about the movie, it's a futuristic movie. So it seems... I think they're in Germany, but it's like a close-knit town. Like, things close together, not a close-knit town. I shouldn't say that. Um, flying cars and stuff like that. So a little futuristic. And uh, anyway, he's trying to find out... Uh, where she's gone, you know, she's still alive, and if she is, where is she? So he's just, you know, doing a little detective work and uh, going around, but he's still mute. Um, and so that's the whole part of that storyline. In addition to that, Paul Rudd's character, he's a doctor um, for what seems to be like the mob. Um, so the mob brings some people and he fixes them up and everything like that. And he's over in Germany. He was with the military and he's AWOL from the military and he has a daughter there and he's trying to get back to the United States. So he's working with the mob to help them out but he wants to get papers so he can go back. Um, and somehow, I mean, they, they've bumped into each other, the mutant Paul Rudd, um, but there's not a connection just yet that we know of. But I'm assuming there's some kind of connection between the work that he was doing and um, the mute who was looking for his girlfriend somehow, some way. That's really it. Um, the one cool thing, the other cool thing besides the city, uh, and you know, it's a very visual type movie, but it's still boring um, and stuff like that. But not to get into too much detail, there was one really cool thing. Um, they had a bowling lane, and the bowling lane was really cool. Not the, the whole bowling alley. So it was two floors. So I thought, that's interesting. You never, I've never seen a two floor bowling alley. Maybe you have, I haven't. The second floor was glass. So as they bowled, you could see the ball going, and you could see down below. So that was kind of neat. Um, they, the bowling balls were all like, one was looked like a dice, or a die. It looked like a die. Um, one was like a smiley face or an emoji, you know what I mean? They're really cool balls instead of just your boring green and yellow and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. And then the, the couches, instead of the chairs that swing kind of, and stuff like that, they had all real nice, like, plush couches and, like, a half moon there that you sit there and do that and that. I've never really seen that before. Um, I'm sure it probably exists outside of where I live, you know, like, out in the real world. Not in the sticks here. We don't have that kind of stuff. But if you do, at least the couches, maybe. But the second floor, that was kind of cool. I thought that was awesome. But other than that, the movie is blah. Um, not worth watching so far. Although I do like Paul Rudd. Um, not enough of him in this to make me like this film so far. Um, but I'll keep watching it um, and uh, see if it gets any better. And I'll check in probably at the credits, but I wanted to do a quick check in now because I might fall asleep. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a gif. See ya. Hey, everybody. 
we're finally at the credits of Mute, or it's over. Um, and oddly enough, as soon as I ended the last check-in and went back to my turn it back on, the next scene was connecting the dots and, and showing, you know, how um, Paul Rudd and um, the Mutes were, you know, how they're connected and how they're connected. And, and, and so I'm not going to explain that to you, but it was interesting that I just had said, you know, I'm still not sure what the relationship is. But immediately, as soon as we go back to the to the movie, it was right there. So, in about an hour, hour and I, well, I forget what the check in was. A little bit after an hour, hour and ten minutes, I think it was when I checked in. That's when you start to figure things out, and um, it starts going towards the conclusion. But it, it again, the way they built the whole beginning up and him being a detective, it was long and drawn out and boring to me. And same thing with the ending. Once the twist happened and you know what's going on, it's like okay. They they seem like they're wrapping it up, but then it long drawn out um, ending as well. So you know, that, I didn't like that. I didn't like there's a hint of pedophilia in this. Almost made me turn it off. Um, I thought it was gonna take a next step. It doesn't. So it's bad what they should you know what happens, but it, it's not. It, it could have been worse, and I would have probably just turned it off. So, so be warned there on that one. Um, I gutted it out, and that what I thought was going to happen didn't really happen. So, still not great, um, but not as bad. Um, as I mentioned, Paul Rudd is a, a surgeon or a doctor for the gang in Germany, and um, trying to get his papers to get back home. And he also has a partner um, who seems to be like you know they they were best friends or something like that in the war. Um, or you know in the in the um, military and they're now continuing to work together and they have this interesting relationship between them um, it, they're like almost like frenemies in a sense um, but and that gets weirder as it goes on um, so he's the one who has the the issue um, and uh, I don't know how to explain it, but even like as they go down, so that relationship is really weird and strange and stuff like that. Uh, they're friends, but they fight like and stuff uh, and don't agree. Anyway, um, he's up. He Paul Rudd doesn't want him near his daughter, so we understand that why. But then, okay, so as we go towards the ending here, and, and the, the twist has happened, and we know what's going on, and it should pretty much end, and it drags out that that relationship remains weird. I don't know how to explain it without giving you a spoiler. Um, I would like to just spoil it for you because I don't think you should watch this. Um, I'm probably giving it a five or a six. Um, while the, the ending made it a little bit better, um, I, you know, and probably while I'm not giving it a four, it was just so boring, like I probably am to you right now, and, and weird, although the, the visualization was good, and um, I did like Alexander. I don't know, uh, Garcia's guard. <laughs> I did like him. You know, he memorized every one of his lines, which was awesome. Um, and, and Paul Rudd was good for most part of it. Other than that, it was not that great. So strong. Don't watch. If you did, I'd love to know what you think. Um, and if you made a decision because of what we talked about here, I'd love to hear that too. So I'm going to cut you out there. So thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.